Right, so just quickly I'll take you through the changing of the graphics card. I bought these off an online store for about 400 RMB, 500 RMB, like last year. Just after Bitcoin mining was banned basically in China. We had like a crackdown on all the Bitcoin mining. So these guys are selling these cards cheaper than they would normally. And I got two of them for my computer because my graphics card had died when I shipped it here from England. And recently they've been like buzzing a lot and one of the fans completely died so I ordered new ones off uh, Taobao. So to change them I looked on a quick video, I'll link it somewhere here in the description. And changing the cards, fans was actually a lot easier than I thought. All you have to do is take some screws off the back, screws off the mount and just replace everything. It's actually quite simple. See what I'm doing now is taking all the stuff off the back of the card. What I'm doing now is just taking the screws off the back and make sure you have the right screwdriver. The right screwdriver because it helps a lot. It helps you do most of the taking off of the parts without having any trouble. I had a lot of trouble because I didn't find the right adapter for my screwdriver but eventually I found it and managed to get everything off. Uh, you don't have to change the thermal paste, but they sent me some, so I just changed it anyway. Just clean it off, make sure it's dry. You can use some alcohol on it, because if you use some water, it'll probably mess with the card. So this is just a quick video showing you how to change the fans on the AMD RX 580. Hope you enjoy. Here's a quick time lapse. Thought it might be interesting for some people that... Maybe if you're not so confident about doing something yourself, it's actually very easy once you just look it up online. And YouTube tutorials are actually very helpful. You should have more confidence in yourself. And if you can try and you can do it, it saves you a lot of money in the long run because next time it happens, you can also do it yourself rather than sending it off to one of the manufacturers or main repairers. Or maybe you're not under warranty anymore and you have to do it yourself anyway because you can't afford to buy a new card like me. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below if you found it useful. See ya!